Have you ever heard of Jolly Bee? I have. It sounds like a Jolly Rancher, but like a jelly bean, but like also a gumdrop. Wait, is this basically a ripoff of McDonald's? Do you know where Jolly Bee is from? Um, the Philippines, I believe. I'm excited because I know foods from like different countries can be really good. Jolly Bee. Oh, spaghetti? I, I'm just expecting like a burger or something like that. Oh. I was expecting chicken with like ranch on the side. Why spaghetti? It looks like it was gonna be a burger. Definitely does not look like something I've eaten before. It just smells like just ketchup. Why is there sausage in here? Well, dig in. It's actually really good. Wanna know what it tastes like? SpaghettiOs. Mm, actually pretty good. It's actually a lot better than I expected. It just tastes like regular spaghetti I've had before, but more sweet. I wasn't expecting this good of spaghetti for a fast food restaurant. This is the legendary Jolly Spaghetti that features noodles, ground meat, sliced hot dogs, and their signature sweet sauce made with banana ketchup. No wonder I tasted potassium. Banana with ketchup? That sounds disgusting, but I'll let it slide because this was okay. I have never heard of that, and they should have more of these around. It sounds gross, but it's actually good. Why can't I taste banana and ketchup? What? So in the Philippines, they fell in love with the combination of spaghetti and regular ketchup. But during World War II, it was really hard for them to get ketchup. So they figured out how to make ketchup using only bananas and no tomatoes. Wait, am I falling into another dimension? It doesn't look like it's made out of bananas. Is there dye in it or something? Okay, this is good. But how is this made with bananas? Just smushed up and with red food coloring? I'm gonna show you a commercial from Jollibee. Ah, we're starting off with a song. Enjoy your Jolly Spaghetti, ma'am. That looks nothing like this. In the commercial, the spaghetti definitely looks a lot better. Ah. <laughs> uh, what? How did they just turn little? It's a way to live forever, apparently. So sarap is what the sauce is called in the Philippines. It smells like a mixture between fish and fried chicken. I'm gonna let you see first. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. This seems really fancy. It kind of looks like a, a Russian food. Noodles. Definitely recognize the noodles in it. They look very transparent. They almost look like glass, almost. What is this? What What is on here? I just, why are there eggs? It looks kind of like ramen. It's shrimp. What, what is this? This dish is called pancit palabo. It's also known as fiesta noodles. It's a classic Filipino dish that comes with an array of toppings. Glass noodles are covered with a garlic sauce, crushed pork rinds, shrimp, and egg. Well, the egg yolk just fell out. And it is described as being a party like no other. Yeah, but I really don't want to have the eggs. God, it's just squelching. I don't see what's so special. Not bad, but it's also not good. I normally don't like shrimp, but like you can bar like barely taste it in this. It's good. No, oh, I could never eat this ever again. No, it's too moist, like very moist. I mean, like, I don't mind it. I really thought it would be like spicy or something, but I guess not. Jollibee loves to dance. Get ready to have a dance party. Yay. One fine day at the G-Force Dance Studio. Favorite dancing bee is practicing his dance moves. Nice. I didn't think he was an actual bee. Ooh. I might just go to the Philippines and join him. Best friend, where are you? Dance studio, I have it all to myself. Great, I have an idea. Game. That fast he's there? I am so confused. He's a good dancer. Definitely has some nice moves. They're pretty good dancers. If I could have moves like him, 
I would be busting out moves all day. I can't imagine Ronald McDonald dancing like that. He's too of a clown. I think this might be squid. Okay, I think this is going to be a normal one. Crispy, delicious chicken. <sighs> It's chicken! Ooh, chicken. Something I can actually grade. Chicken! <laughs> Yummy. It's rice? Now this seems something I would actually like. Mmm. Hmm. I don't like it. The rice is called adobo rice. Okay. Have you ever had rice and fried chicken before? No, but that's good. It's good. It's kind of sticky, but other than that, it's actually really good. I really can't taste the difference of this and normal rice. Is this gravy without the mashed potatoes? Gravy? Mm, I don't really like dipping things in sauce. Gravy on fried chicken? Oh, dear. Okay. I am moving you out of the way. Oh, God. So Chicken Joy is the Filipino counterpart to KFC. It's described as being perfectly seasoned to be, and these are their words, crispy-licious on the outside and juicy-licious on the inside. Well, they definitely got that right. Plus, they serve it with gravy, which is different than lots of other fried chicken places. Nope. No. The chicken is very similar to Popeye's chicken. I'm not gonna say it tastes better, but the gravy just adds a nasty, just nasty texture. Way better than I expected. It tastes worse with the gravy, but I think this is really good. You do you, Jollibee. And then of course, chicken. Normally, no. Chicken! I've had KFC. This is basically the exact same. Great. Just not include this into it. But the things of fried chicken, chicken joy, I'm the best. The best. They in space? Delicious. The best, so juicy, delicious. They definitely got that correct. God, that didn't even show. Sabuong Pilipinas. It's strange that they're all wearing three different colors. That was confusing. Isn't that like the the rest? No, fast food restaurants colors. This is the flag of the Philippines. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, now I can see the flag. Oh my gosh, I get it. They're trying to be like the flag, but eating chicken. They have very good marketing, actually. I think they didn't add the gravy in for a reason, but they're not wrong about the crispy, very crispy. Ah, uh, the burger. The good old fashioned burger and fries. <laughs> now this is something normal. Is this a burger with cheese and no meat? Okay, there's meat. Bread, a ton of cheese and a little bit of patty. Oh God, oh there's mayo. Oh yeah, it's just cheese and meat. That's exactly how I like my burgers. I hate tomatoes, but I guess I'll give it a try. It doesn't seem that bad. So here we've got the classic Yum Burger with Jollibee's special sauce, one of their initial food items sold by Jollibee and their first flagship product. It's like a cheeseburger. There's something else in there. I bet you it's in the patty. I bet you it's the banana ketchup or something. Best thing ever, yeah. The sauce is the best part. Like from the outside, you can still see that it's very saucy. Yes, there is no sauce here. I will bite here. <laughs> oh darn it, I got a little bit of sauce. The sauce is very different compared to like other like fast food burgers I've had, but it goes very well with it, surprisingly. It's like a crabby patty. Like it tastes like they have secret sauce in their burgers that they don't tell anyone about. How does their sauce taste? What does it taste like? Pickles and relish and mayo. Not good. There's a lot. It wasn't the patty. It was you. Mm. It's good. So, I'm glad to know that first Jollibee started off normal. It does not fit my taste buds. I used to got fries. Unsalted fries. You ready for dessert? Say less. Peach mango. Ooh. <laughs> That sounds so good, except I'm not a big fan of mangoes. I hate peach and I hate mango. It definitely looks like the apple pie at McDonald's. <laughs> this is basically the apple pie from McDonald's, but worse. So finally we have Jollibee's peach mango pie, which is similarly portable like McDonald's apple pie, but many say it tastes even better. I'm not sure about that tastes any better, but I'll try it. What? Wow. That was really good. Horrible. 
I would just take the the mango out and just eat the whole thing by itself. Just hear that crunch. Hear that beautiful crunch. Hate that. I hate that. It's very like crunchy and flaky. I feel like it is a lot better than the apple pie, surprisingly. I think it tastes better. Except I'm more of a fan of apple pie, so I'd say they're both equal. I do not like it. I do not recommend this. So that does it for today. How do you feel about all the different foods you got to try from Jollibee? I don't know. I thought it would be like more like fast foody, if that makes sense, but it's very different from what I expected. It's really good. Although Jollibee has um, a different way of making a sauce, but it's good. <laughs> if you had the soda in it, yes, the dessert, then that might have been better. I don't like burgers with tomatoes or that stuff on it, but I actually love that burger, so that I would probably start buying that now. Does this inspire you to want to travel and try more cuisines of other countries? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching Kids React. What do you think of Jolly? Have you had it before? Let us know in the comments below. Bye. Well, I guess if they like the sauce, then that's fine. I, I, what is the meaning of this?